Hello, everybody. Welcome to the EEC Extra interviews. And we are honored to be speaking to a lot of the Eurovision 2023 participants. And today we're speaking to the youngest of them all. I actually feel old today. We're speaking to Victor <laughs> Vernikos from Greece. Welcome. I'm sorry for making you feel old. Thank you so much. No, come on. No, no, no. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. It is great to to be able to uh, to speak to you and to have you at Eurovision um, this year. How excited are you for Liverpool? Very, very excited, man. Um, it's it's going to be an insane experience from what everybody's telling me, and uh, I'm I'm really excited to be going to Eurovision finally. I mean, it's it's an honor. I've been watching it so many years uh, off off the television, and uh, I can't wait to actually one one see it in person. And actually, the init is going to be absolutely insane. Uh, and yeah, just really, really excited to be part of that big show. Yeah, because it's it is a big show, and it's also quite this big community bubble like feeling that you're experiencing. How has that been for the past few months? Now that we've known that, you're yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been it's been it's been cool. So it's, it's a really great community. It's a community with a lot of history. So also very just just as any community uh, com community with a lot of history, they're also very. Um, prideful do you know what I mean but yeah. but deserved you know <laughs> your vision is amazing and uh history is very rich uh so they they know their stuff you know it's like pe people know how the semi-final went in 1982 you know so it's, it's crazy um so yeah no no it's, it's it's been really great I love the community to been treating me very very well so uh so yeah that's very good to hear. And I think, yeah, the community, because you, you mentioned the, the, the years ago, and um, when I think of, of my favorite Greek Eurovision moment, it's, of course, Elena Paparizou's victory. And I then I remember that you were not born when that happened. <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> I, I mean, you were born in the year that Athens hosted Eurovision. Um, yes, yes. So I was, I, was, I was born a few months after they hosted. And it's actually it's actually ironic because this year that I'm going, um, it's because I was born the year it was in Athens. Yes. But when Elena won, it was in Ukraine. And Ukraine won last year. So the, the year before Elena won, Ukraine won again. So now it's happening again. And it's 16 years later from a year that where I wasn't born to, to this year. So it's, it's quite crazy. It's crazy. I, I, have you managed to speak to, to Elena yet about... You know, you're really I, have, I have not someone. spoken to Elena. She's, she's one of the people that I really, really would like to speak to. I've spoken to Amanda Tenfield from last year. I've spoken to Saki Zurubas as well, but I haven't spoken to anybody else. And what did what did Amanda and Sakis give you in terms of advice? What did they tell you to do? Uh, a lot of advice. They told me to respect the community, obviously, because it's a great community with a lot of history, just as I said before, and it's, it's a very lovely one. Um, And uh, just enjoy it. Enjoy, enjoy the ride. It's a huge show, and... Uh, yeah, never forget it. No, you will you will have a lifetime to remember this, and that's going to be so sure, phenomenal. Sure. Yeah. I'm very excited. Yeah. Now, I can, I can also imagine that you feel some kind of, of pressure, because, well, I, I know I've mentioned your age quite a bit now, but if you're 16 years old and you're representing a country with such a rich cultural heritage and such a rich musical yeah. history, how does that feel for you? It feels... I, to be honest, it just feels like a blessing. Like I'm, I'm very, very. I feel very, very proud to be to to have been selected to represent the country. Uh, I think I convinced them that I could handle it, and uh, I'm focusing on the day to day things. You know, I'm, fo I'm I'm focusing on what to do today, what to do tomorrow, what to do the day after, planning for Liverpool, obviously, uh, and and how to get to that goal of of Liverpool and doing the best possible uh, every every single day. And uh, I've been doing well. I'm not very anxious. Like I'm I'm not an anxious person. I'm just like focus on the task ahead, and then. Uh, keep going and and every day I become more confident like in the start you know you have a little more anxieties because you because you don't know what's but they're day-to-day -day anxieties you know because you don't know how people work yet just getting acquainted and and uh of, of how things are going but now slowly my uh my questions are starting to be answered in general on all cylinders so that's why I get more, more and more confident every day more rehearsals as well so it's it, it's been going very very well and uh starting to feel very 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 confident uh, and and i'm hoping that the public will like what we are bringing to the table obviously it's not in my hands you know it's like um I'm, uh, it's in my hands to do the best yes for myself and express myself to the greatest extent but then it's in the eyes of the public to see what they like and what they don't absolutely that is that is i think um i think that is a very very good approach to to handling such such a task that is ahead of you because 
Um, I, I, I mean, I, just the thought of representing a country would stress me out so much. Like carrying that flag onto that stage and saying, I'm here and I'm the one representing Greece now. Um, sounds yeah, it's, like it's, a it's, thing. To, to me, it's just so cool. It's like, I it's like I get a rush. I get an adrenaline rush. Yeah. I love when responsibilities put on me. The, the, I, I love performing under pressure. It's like a thing where like, you give me, if you give me a little bit of pressure, I'll perform. Like if I have zero pressure, I'll still perform. I'll still perform, but it's hard for me to get out of bed, you know. But if you if you just give me a tiny bit, it like if if I I like waking up early in the morning and then going for like try, trying to exercise or trying to start doing stuff with uh, music, etc. Just trying to do something, trying to get get myself out of bed. If someone calls me and says, "Let's go for a run at four thirty, I'll say yes, and I'll be there. It's just it's cool. It's just cool to me to do things that other people don't do, and to do things that are. A little bit out of the ordinary i just think exploring that is just very very um a nice experience in general like catching the sunrise or um just doing things that aren't people aren't used to or you're not or i myself i'm not used to in my day-to-day -day life just like your vision as well it's a huge task and i love that it gives me such an adrenaline rush and i'm working towards it every day and uh, hopefully we get a good result it it sounds so 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 fascinating that you really you choose your own path in 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 life like um because when someone wants to sleep in most of people most people will say I'll sleep in till whenever I can get it and hey, like if you if you like if you like sleep you like sleep for sure I love sleep too it's just that if if someone tells me let's go at four thirty I'll be like yeah because because the 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 odd things are the things that you remember for the rest of your life I'll be I'll be able to tell somebody th three years later even if it's like a kind of a, a bad thing that happened like like I, I just don't stress about situations like let's say something bad happens I'll be like okay fine we'll laugh about it in three years you know what I'm saying like it's a, it's a memory you can go and laugh about so like I'll say that we oh, we were waking up at four thirty we were crazy. So it's something I can talk about later and be be happy about and just enjoy while you're in the moment, you know. Being being a little bit out of the ordinary, being a little bit crazy is, is puts a smile on my face, I guess. You're the, the kind of guy they would pull off a beach at midnight because you want to go for a swim in the sea. Oh, of course. Yes. Oh, that sounds awesome. Yes, I love it. I love it. Of course. Um uh, I, don't, I don't know who I get that from, but that's maybe maybe my dad. I'm sure I'm sure he's done that as well. Your your but, dad sound would be that kind of person, you think? would do that uh, to, to go to, uh, to go for a, to go for a beach swim at midnight i'm sure he would because i've I've witnessed that because i, I so oh, i have a good story my dad's gonna kill me if i say it though okay the, only for you um so we were in denmark right and we went to a we went, went to an ed sheeran concert it was the first time that i've ever been to a concert uh we went to an ed sheeran concert and then we slept over at one of his friends uh house houses you know uh one of my dad's friends houses and we uh, slept there and then him him and his friend got on bicycles when it was the middle of the night and they went towards the sea to go for a swim right because it was summer and they go towards the sea it's denmark by the way so it's not exactly warm no and they go and once they go they start seeing lightning over the water and then they just turn back and find a hard time to go back on the bicycle because there's rocks and everything and it's I, I wasn't there to experience it, but I was sleeping. I was I was out, but it was just uh, I, I heard about it. I started laughing and like just hitting my putting my palms in my face. Oh, he told That's you it. that story, and you must have been like, I want to replicate what my dad has tried to do. <laughs> not that, not that specific one. But in general, in general, I love it. Yeah. So you've mentioned Denmark as well because your dad is from Denmark. Um, yeah. So. Would you ever consider representing Denmark? Because that that I mean that country um, is also looking for some young talent. For sure, I, lo I love Denmark. Uh, I, the reason I didn't represent Denmark, uh, I didn't choose to represent Denmark in, in Eurovision because I I just I grew up in Greece and I that's it. I was born here. I grew up here, so uh, I said I think it's more fitting to go to Greece. I feel like if I represented Denmark, I'd get some sort of backlash for not being Danish. Uh, even may maybe it could be. I mean, maybe not. I mean, Amanda. I, I know Amanda that represented us last year. Didn't. I mean, she was from uh, she was from Norway. But yep. I don't know how the Danish public would feel about it. Um. So I, I just chose to go for with the country. That was my initial thought. Maybe 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 they wouldn't. But my initial thought was 
let me go with Greece. I've been living here. I'm I'm half and half. <laughs> I've, yeah. I grew up here and I'm living here, even though I've been traveling to Denmark as well. And I, I love both countries with my whole heart. Uh, I said, let me represent Greece. So that's that's how that's what happened. Talking about Greece, what is your favorite place to be in Greece? Depends when. Depends what time of the year. In the summer, obviously, only islands. Uh, but in August, I, I, early August, I, lo I love Athens because on the 15th of August, we have like a, a holiday and everybody's out of town. So when you're in Athens, which is beautiful, and nobody's there, which is exactly what you want. Because when Athens is crowded, that's when you want to go to the islands. But when it's not, it's it's quite nice. So it's it's cool being in Athens around that early August, mid August period. So that's really nice as well. So yeah, islands and then Athens then. Islands and Athens sounds sounds like a good deal. I I really love Athens. So that is yeah yeah. You should come. Have you ever been? Uh, I've been to Athens six or seven times now. Nice. Okay. Okay. So I'm not telling you anything new. <laughs> I, I I always go there with my with my school kids nine days a year. Um, and we travel nice, around man. Greece. We go from Athens to Olympia and then all the ancient things. Beautiful, beautiful. cool. So that's awesome. that's wonderful. Yeah. Um, now, I think um, when it comes to your song, uh, you wrote that during the COVID times. Yes. Yeah. I think we had lockdown. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was. It was twenty twenty one. It was March April of twenty twenty one. I was fourteen years old at the time. Yeah. That that alone is just you were fourteen years old. <laughs> when I was fourteen year old years old, what did I do when I was fourteen years old? Nothing that was of any importance to the world. Um, <laughs> but okay, you wrote the song that you're going to represent Greece with. Great. Um, but how was that lockdown time for you? Because I, I I mean I am a teacher myself. I saw lots of fourteen year 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 olds in in lockdown times. How was it for you? Uh, it was okay because lockdown uh allowed me to work on music actually a lot. So that's that's when I really started, when I really improved in music production. I mean, I was I was on my laptop for like ten, twelve, fourteen hours a day. So it was, it was like I I really tried to do as much as possible and, and you know take the negative of of COVID happening and us all getting locked in and use that as a positive. Uh, definitely miss my friends and and having that you know social connection just like I do now by the way because I'm doing online school and just working for Eurovision all the whole time but uh, yeah it was, it was okay I think I got a little bit used to it just because I had music by my side uh, you know it was stressful just for, for everybody um, yeah. but uh, yeah it's in the past and uh, I think I, I tried to make good out of a bad situation so as best possible you know well, listening to the song, you succeeded in that, I think. Um, <laughs> you also you, you you quickly mentioned that you're doing onla online school now. How did your school react to yeah. when you said, uh, guys, I'm going to be away for a while because I'm going to represent this country? <laughs> so so I'm doing online school so I can I can log on at any time and also the, the videos are recorded so I can watch them at any at any point as well but they were very very excited and and the school is the online school is uh, mentioned in sorry it's based in London so it's it's an international school I've always been going to international schools since I was a kid uh so it's a London school and and they were very very excited and they were, they sent me a few emails and you know in the chat I was in the chat you know, it's on like Google Meet or something and everybody was like oh my god and I was they got very excited and it was it was very heartwarming and cool that is great to hear um now of course you're very busy so I'm going to ask you one final question it's the same one we always <laughs> yes, ask yes, everyone yes. here and that's um is there something you would like to say to the viewers of ecxtra.com at this moment. I'd love to. I'd love to. Uh, vote for Greece. Vote for Greece. Vote for Greece. No, I'm kidding. Um, no, <laughs> no. What I what I, <laughs> what I want to say is <laughs> wait a second. Get over there. Uh, no, what, what I really want to say is don't let anybody doubt you. Don't let don't let anybody make your make you doubt yourself. Um, a lot of people told me or didn't believe that I could go to Eurovision or that I could do and still don't believe that I can do well um because of my age because i might be inexperienced because because of loads of factors and just don't let any anybody hold you back uh confidence is the best way to move forward and keep working on yourself just just focus on the job whatever you want to do and uh, go ahead and do it spread love follow the things you love to do 
express yourself. Use my song to express yourself if you need to, if you're going through anxiety, overwhelmingness, and in general, just get it out of your system in whatever form you may, whether that's painting, you know, writing music, exercising, eating food, uh, <laughs> which I, I do a lot, which is, shouldn't. He also uh, lucky. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, of course. Come on. Uh, come to Greece. Uh, get on the islands. Get on. Get on that. Get on a little sailing boat and just express yourself, if possible. Uh, listen to music. Just, just, just get it off of your chest. Anything, anything it is, and uh, yeah, just spread some love to yourself and to others. That's my message. That was quite long. That was a very good message, though. Um, I'm gonna say thank you, Evaristo Poli. Thank you. Um, and guys, stay tuned to more interviews um, and make sure you check in the Eurovision Song Contest and listen to Victor Vernikos representing Greece with what they say. Thank you so much. Cheers.